Larry, good morning. That body was found in a burning trash can early this morning. Firefighters responded to the scene, found that burning body. Right now, we are just getting our first update this morning from the police chief. She joins us live. Chief Kathleen Lanier, what can you tell us, Chief? Still pretty early. There's not much new information. The uh, fire department got a call here around 5.30 this morning for a uh, fire in the alley. Um, once they started to extinguish the fire, they discovered a, a body that was in the trash can here. So um, detectives are here now. We're still kind of walking around the neighborhood talking to folks. We don't know yet if it's a, you know, a male or female. It appears to be an adult. Uh, really, we can't tell much right now. So uh, we should know more in a couple hours. Where does the investigation stand? I mean, a lot of people are saying this neighborhood's been quiet. It does have a history, but it has been quiet lately. Is there any indication what may have led up to this? No, not at all. And it has been very quiet over here. You see this uh, you know, very uh, pedestrian neighborhood, people walking uh, all the time, 5.30 in the morning, people coming out, going to work. Um, so, um, you know, just give us a little time to talk to some people in the neighborhood and find out what's going on. It's unusual. It's been extremely quiet here. Thanks so much. All right, you're welcome. I appreciate all your right, time. Thank care, you. Sir. As you just heard it from the police chief there, we are uh, just about a block north of the Trinidad Rec Center to give you an idea of where we are standing. We're going to continue to stay on top of this story and we'll bring you the latest developments later on in the hour. Reporting live in Northeast, I'm Sam Sweeney, News Channel 8. Larry, back to you. Zacchaeus Zach Blanding, a mere 19 years old, was sentenced to over 19 years behind bars for the chilling second degree murder of his own friend, Heineken McNeil. A startling sentence for a startling crime. In the heart of Washington, D.C., a friendship that should have been a beacon of companionship and camaraderie warped into a tale of betrayal and violence. The Superior Court of the District of Columbia heard Blanding's guilty plea and Judge Rhonda Reed Winston passed down his sentence. A sentence spanning almost two decades with an additional five years of supervised release looming thereafter. It was a summer day, June 23, 2015, when the District of Columbia Department of Fire and Emergency Medical Services responded to a fire. Not just any fire, but a fire that concealed a lifeless body. The body of 19-year-old Heineken McNeil. An autopsy would later reveal the horrifying truth, gunshot wounds to the head. The trigger? Pulled by none other than Zach Blanding. Blanding and McNeil shared more than just friendship. They shared an apartment. And it was in this shared space that Blanding recorded a video a video expressing his intent to harm three people, among them his best friend McNeil. The morning after recording this chilling video, Blanding turned his words into actions. He shot McNeil not once but twice with a .22 caliber firearm. Blanding then embarked on a mission to conceal his crime, a mission that included purchasing duct tape, a garbage can, and a gas canister. Blanding, in his confession, spoke of playing with the gun, of cocking it, of thinking the safety was on, a fatal mistake followed by a desperate hope that McNeil would somehow bounce back. But when he didn't, panic set in. Blanding in his panic concealed McNeil's body in a garbage can, dragged it down the stairs and set it on fire. Blanding described those 30 minutes of dragging the trash can as the worst of his life. But the true horror of those moments, the true horror of this crime, lies not in the physical struggle of a killer, but in the tragic loss of a young life.